Disturbing events took place last week in Queensland, which saw the newly elected Liberal government rush through amendments to the Civil Unions Act. Civil unions are now redundant. However, same-sex couples can register their relationship, just as you register your car or your dog. With prominent world leaders now stating their support for same-sex marriage, Queensland has taken a large and frightening step backwards. This comes on top of the removal of two and a half million dollars in LGBT health funding earlier this year. More alarmingly, the Newman government has announced its plans to change surrogacy laws affecting same-sex couples, despite Mr Newman assuring the community before the election that this would not happen. We're not making any changes to the laws on those matters. Queensland Attorney General Jared Blay announced plans for the surrogacy ban during five hours of fiery debate in state parliament last week, where there were incredible scenes of community anger. Australian Christian Lobby Queensland Director Wendy Francis, meanwhile, welcomed the announcement that same-sex couples would be prevented from acquiring babies. Now the message here is clear for all of us. The Newman government was swept to power in a landslide. They now have the power to do as they please without being held accountable. Will Tony Abbott win the next election? Yes. Will it be a landslide? Most likely. Do they stand for equality? Will we see similar situations on a national level that are currently playing out in Queensland? Look, our message for you is clear. Too much power in one man's hands is dangerous. Now, we still have a long way to go and the fight is not yet over, but we need your support. I'm Kyle Olson for Inside Out.